Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He got his briefcase and <laughs> right. opened up his clothes. Yeah. And somebody said, Jeremiah, I thought you weren't going to preach no more. Yeah. Jeremiah said, I wasn't going to preach anymore. All right. But I remember how good God is yes. to me. I remember how God has loved me so much. He said, and now I love him yes, so sir. much. He said, it's right far. Sometimes the phone calls stretches into late at night, but God has been good to me. Keep on walking. Praising God. Sometimes when I'm doing real bad, I want to get mad with God. But I love God too much. He's been too good to me. When things are not right, He still loves me. When times get hard, He still loves me. When I fall flat on my face, He still loves me. When trouble comes my way, He still loves me. When my children Thanksgivings in our hearts. Yes, yes, yes. Thanking you, Father, the love that you've already shared here in this building mm -hmm. today. Yes, Lord, we continue to ask that you lead us and guide us. 
in all our doings of this day. Mm -hmm. And now may the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 It's a good thing to be here today, and we are honored to, to be here. Bring greetings from the Walterboro District of the United Methodist Church. I'm everywhere I go almost I say the Walterboro District is the number one district. All right. All right. And I, I've always uh, been under the impression that if you say something long enough <laughs> and say it enough, All right. you know, the folks will start to believe it. That's right. You let them they start something and they'll believe that if they say it long enough. All right. All right. Continue to say it. We want to say this morning that the Walterboro District is the number one mm -hmm. district in the United Methodist Church mm -hmm. in South Carolina. I can say that because as of this day right here, since for three weeks now, we've been number one in apportionment. All right. We've on top of Columbia, Greenville, and all of them. When you go down the statistics, you see Walterboro. Yes, sir. Usually, our brother Singleton, we number 10 or 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we are leading the way because of churches like you. So we want to thank you for the work that you are doing here in this community. For the continued growth of your church and for the love that you continue to share uh, with your members and in this community. You know, every now and then we all are going to go through something. I, I used to hear my mother say, if there has never been any rain in your life, just wait a while. Wait a while. Because if you live long enough, you're going to have to go down these pathways also that you may not want to go down. That's right. But there is a God out there. Yes, 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 yes. I can tell you, can I say Jesus in you? Yes. There is a God out there who is able to pick you up yes, yes. and to send you on to where you need to be. Yes. We are grateful to, to be here this morning. Uh, it's been a long time since I seen Nathaniel. My, uh, I bet Nathaniel had clapped. All right, all right. I ain't gonna tell you how long that been. Right. It's been a long time. Right. You know, uh, Reverend Scott, it's good to see you today, and, and this wonderful crowd. I'm, it's good to see all of you. There is a word from the Lord this morning. Right. Amen. And those of you who wish to follow along with me, it's it's taken from the twentieth chapter of. Second Chronicles, the twentieth chapter of Second Chronicles. Beginning at the 15th verse. Let us listen to the word of God. Second Chronicles. 20th chapter. The 15th verse. And he said, listen all you of Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem and you King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid, nor dismayed, because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours. I need to say that again. All are going through something right now, will you admit it or not? But the text says here that the battle is not yours, but the God's. Tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Zed, and you will find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jezreel. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them. 
for the Lord is with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. <laughs> then the Levites of the children of the Kohab, Kohamites and of the children of the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with voices loud and high. Mm -hmm. So they rose early in the morning, the, the text, so they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who had, should sing to the Lord, and who should praise the beauty of holiness. As they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Amen, amen. I had to leave a thought with you this morning. It would be praise God in the house. All right, amen, amen. Praise God. Anyhow, with all that is happening in the world, there are times when things will not be easy. Times when difficulty will come our way. Mm -hmm. But something is wrong when we give God the praises only when things are going well. The life of a true believer is one who has made the step and believes by faith. Those of us who are called by his name, baptized in his blood and born again, we know a life of praising God anyhow. Yes, Can I get a witness? Yes, Come on, man. Man. Praising God anyhow means regardless of your circumstances mm -hmm. or your situations, mm -hmm. you still can praise Him mm -hmm. for who He is yes, and for what He has done. Mm -hmm. When you praise God anyhow, it means praising Him when you don't feel like praising Him. I don't know about you, but I know sometimes when I get up in the mornings, I don't feel like praising Him. But I know that it is to my benefit that somehow or another I can reach down inside of me and find something that will enable me to praise him yes, sir. anyhow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you praise him anyhow, it means that you can feel bad on the outside, but still praise him on the inside. Yes, sir. Praising God anyhow means praising him when sickness is all around you. Even during the times of bereavement, I hear that you have a death in the family today and all of you are gathered here under the sound of my voice because you sought to praise him anyhow. Yes, sir. Yes. Am I right about that? Yes. But you see, God is not calling us to be fair weather Christians. Come on, man. Come on, man. God is not calling us for praises only when the sun is shining. But when temples are boiling and the wind is blowing. 
But you see, God is not calling us for praises only when there is peace mm -hmm. in the choir. Yes. Yes. And where I come from, there is not always yes. peace yes. in the choir. Yes. God is not just calling us when there is harmony in the pew. Yes. But God is calling us when the way does not look easy. Lord have mercy. To call in us because we need to praise him anyhow. When times are tough, yes, God is calling us for praise. Yes. Yes. During bereavement, God is calling us for praise. Yes. Yes, Am I right about that? Yes, but you see, the real test of our faith and commitment in life is not when everything is going well. Yes, sir. Well, yes. it's easy to say you love the Lord when money is in your pocket. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. It's easy to say you love the Lord when right. your bills are all paid off. Yes, yes, it's easy to say you love the Lord when your friends are by your side. Oh, hey, yes. It's easy to say you love the Lord when your blood pressure is 120 over 80. Oh, hey. It's easy to say you love the Lord when your blood sugar count is 110. Yeah. But the real test of your relationship oh, hey. with the Lord So often, we preach about Daniel in the lion's den. But you have to remember that Daniel went inside the lion's den. Yes, 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 we talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro named Abednego. <laughs> but you have to remember that they were cast inside. Yes. And it was only afterwards that God stepped in. Yeah. Sometimes it's God's preference yeah. Yeah. for you. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's God's program for you. Yes, sir. Yes. Sometimes it's God's priority. All right. Mm -hmm. For you. Yes, sir. Not that you stand outside the fiery furnace, mm -hmm. but that you go inside. Yes, right. yes, sir. Am I right about that? Come on. Yes, sir. Well, you see, sometimes God wants us to stand and testify. That's right. right. God wants us to demonstrate that we do believe. Yes, sir. And God puts us in the lion's den on a fiery furnace yes. to remind us that when we fall down yes. Yes. that God will pick us up yes. Yes. so that we can stand and testify that the Lord will make a way. Yes. Yes. Is there anybody in this house to stay who knows that the Lord will make a way? If you live long enough, one day you'll find yourselves in one of these situations yes, with your backs up against the wall Come on now. and no way out. Lord. I don't know about you, but I've seen some times in my life when yes, I've had my back up against the wall. I've had some times in my life when I didn't know whether I was coming or going. I didn't know what I was going to do next. Somehow or another, I could call on the Lord. Yes, and the Lord will. Sometimes I can say today that that was the situation Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, was in. Scripture reminds us that his enemies were rising up against him in war. 
They decided that they were coming in every direction. His spies had gone out mm -hmm. and now we're back in with bad news. Uh -huh. Can I preach this thing? Come on, Come on. I can imagine them saying, King, they decided to come against us. Mm -hmm. That we have 1,000 foot soldiers. Yeah. But that does not compare with the combined forces that will move against us. All right. So Jehoshaphat called his military advisors. Right. I heard Brother Singleton tell me this morning that he was in the army along with Brother Sumter one time. Yeah. Every now and then we have to call on our military advisors. Right. And the Bible tells us in essence in so many ways that they sat down yeah. and began to counsel him. Yes, sir. They said, King, our backs are up against the wall. Right. And there is no way out. Come on. Our only hope is to hold up the white flag yeah. and surrender mm. or fight and die. Yes. The Secretary of the State said we've tried all we could. Yeah. There is no way we can sit down with these folks. Right. Then Jehoshaphat remembered the love of a good God. Yes, he remember how God brought the Hebrew children out of the Egypt and across the Red Sea. Yes, he knew that if he could make one step that God would, God would do the rest. Therefore he turned his face to God and asked the people to come down to an old-fashioned prayer meeting. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Here and now and then we have to be revived, y'all. And we come down to an old-fashioned prayer meeting. And when they arrived at the prayer meeting, he instructed them to bow down on bending knees yes, yes. and pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. God is a God of grace and a God of a good thing. Yes. Praise God anyhow. Yes. God will have mercy upon you. Yes. Right. While praying out at the prayer meeting, a prophet stood up and began to prophesy. Yes. He said, King Jehoshaphat, right. God said, don't worry about a thing. No. God wants you to understand that we are his chosen yes. people. Yes. This is not your fight. Yes. Yes. Fight. Yes, sir. They went down to the battlefield yeah. and God said don't shoot any arrows All right. or throw any spears. All right. Don't send out any chariots yeah. or any foot soldiers. Yeah. Just call together the mass choir yes, and tell them to sing. Yeah. Just call together the gospel choir yeah. and tell them to sing. Yeah. Call together the male chorus yeah. and tell them said sing what God said I don't care what you say as long as you got praise God give me somewhere I don't care what you say today as long as you have praise God praise God praise God in the morning praise God in the noontime praise God late in the evening just praise God being said then or should we be aiming our he said, no, just sing. Uh, should we be getting ready for hand-to-hand -hand combat? Mm -hmm. He said, no, just sing. Uh, I don't care what you sing. Just sing. Praise God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise is for the blessings. Yeah. When they started praising God, mm -hmm. The enemy started to fight each other. Yes, sir. It looked like a new war mm -hmm. was going on. Yes, sir. Then God said, stop singing. Mm -hmm. And they looked up around and saw nothing but dead bodies. Yes, sir. Because God had fought the battle yes, sir. for them. Yes, sir. And I just stopped by today mm -hmm. to tell you that no matter what the situation looks like, yeah. to praise God yeah. anyhow. Yeah. It might not look right now. But praise God anyhow. 
when things get rough, yes. praise God anyhow. When money runs out, praise God anyhow. When praises go up, blessings come down. Blessings come down. Praise God anyhow. I heard Jeremiah put it this way. He told God, I'm not going to preach anymore. You have deceived me and made my life a living hell. Yeah. He said, I'm not serving you anymore. Oh, and he headed out the door. The devil said, yeah, I got him now. Yeah. Jeremiah started to remember the love.